Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Azahar emulator on the Mac to play 3DS games on your Mac. This video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. So we, you know, we used to have Lime 3DS, Citra, and now we have Azahar. So this is the latest and greatest 3DS emulator and I'm going to show you how to set it up. There's actually two different versions, there's Azahar, then there's the fork of Azahar, which is Azahar Plus, which you know allow support of dot 3ds games still but as a hard plus does not have a mac version so you have to use as a hard but i'll show you how to use your dot 3ds games in there as well as long as they are decrypted so first of all open up your web browser download this software called the on archive that is free you can download it from the mac app store or directly from their website this allows you to easily easily ex extract compressed files that may not be supported using you know the built-in extraction tool on mac so it's very useful to have next i'm going to type in as a whole and go to the website go to github not download github from there go to releases select the latest release go to assets you have like three different mac os versions you have arm 64 which is like the new apple silicon you know the m1 m2 processors and universal is like for both but i recommend do arm or x86 for intel to find out which one you need go to your apple icon about this mac and right here whatever it says here so the mine says apple m1 and that is what you'll need you'll need the arm 64 version so click that once it's downloaded you just let's move these files up here double click on extract it copy this over to applications i've already got it so i'm just going to replace it and that's that done and now the game you can extract it if it's not in a format like this you can, you, and you copy the game go to i'm going to put in documents roms create a new folder called 3ds and paste it right here you can put it on, on an external drive as well if you like and now i'm going to search for as a whole launch that up so if you get this not a problem click done open up your system settings again you can just search for that system settings and you scroll down go to privacy and security scroll down to the bottom where it says as a whole was blocked to protect your mac click open anyway click open anyway again type in the password for your laptop not your apple account password but the one that you use to log into your laptop now let me show you some settings so if you go to azahar settings you can leave all of these you know as default in system make sure enable new 3ds is selected apart from that you can change the country you can maybe tweak the clock or username everything else you can leave as default in graphics you can increase the internal resolution makes the image look sharper but depending on what system you are running on and what game as well that's also important you know you might get you know low frame rate so i recommend doing it on native check the game if it works up it to 2x 3x you can relaunch this setting whilst you're in game as well everything else you can leave it's so one little note if you're having really poor performance especially on older machines you can disable this which is a relatively new setting disable right eye rendering because we're not doing 3d mode anyway and in layout you can choose how you want your screens to be displayed so default you will have the top and bottom screen single screen is just the top screen large screen is the top one is very big and the bottom to screen one is very small side by side it's like left and right and you can do like custom layouts as well you can do a screen gap uh, which is also nice if you want to kind of you know see where the gap is the hinge almost and in advanced Make sure for graphics API, if you have Vulkan available, select Vulkan. If you you know if you have multiple graphics cards, maybe an external device, select that. Everything else, leave the way I've got it on default. The only other thing to know is enable async shader compilation. You can enable this and you might get better performance. So you know it, you really have to see this on a case-by-case -case basis. You might need to tweak these settings depending on what game you play. There might be a specific you know set of settings that you know make that game work better in audio um you pretty much leave this as default in output time make sure you have some something selected that's not none 
I've had emulators where they've just default selected none, which you don't want. Output device, um, auto is fine. I know you'll go to my speakers. Any controls, you can now map your controls. If I click a key, press let's say five, it maps it to that key now. If you have an external controller connected, like a game controller, an Xbox, a PlayStation, maybe a Nintendo Switch controller, Bluetooth or USB, I'll have separate videos covering how to set them up, but you can map those as well. And you can map your motion and touch, but the touch is really just going to be, you know, clicking on the you know, screen, which is really, really convenient. You can have hot keys, for example, you know, for the volume, for, you know, quick load, quick save, feel free to, you know, change these hot keys, you know, put, you know, macros there. And you can have a new profile. So these are great where you want different control configurations for different games, different users, different game genres even. So I'm going to leave this all as default. Click OK. And now we need to add our game. So if we double click, go to where we added the games, select the 3DS folder, click open. We'll fix this. The game hasn't appeared yet. But if you right, if you have folders within the 3ds folder let's say if you've organized all your mario games within a mario folder all your pokemon games within a pokemon folder you'll need to right click click scan subfolders i don't so i don't need to but the game's not appearing so you say the cryptic files and dot 3ds files are no longer supported i know the game that i have is decrypted even though it's dot 3ds so if i rename it dot cci click enter new cci the game appears right here and if you have a CIA file, you can just go to File, Install, CIA. And I'll have a separate video covering how to decrypt encrypted games. And now, if you want to do specific settings for your game, so not global settings, you can right-click, go to Properties, and you can overwrite all of those settings. So this is what I would recommend. For the internal resolution, overwrite the specific setting, not the global setting. And you know, same here as well. So if you need to enable async shader compilation, do it for the specific game uh, you know you can test it out on a global level but always do it for the specific game now if i double click the game launches up I'll just turn the volume down and as you can see if i click it activates the bottom screen and i can show you the views right here so if i go screen single screen it has the big one with the top one which is now big for large screen we have this one at the bottom it's very small depending on how much touch activity you have within that game you this may or may not be convenient some game you need to be touching the screen you know the bottom one a lot film is really just you know just to get through the menus for the most part and i'm going to go back to default And another thing to show you is if you go to emulation, you can save a state. So if I do slot one, that's saved. If I close this down, I'm going to relaunch as a har. I'm going to relaunch the game. As you can see, it's gone to the start. If I go to emulation, load state, if I load that, so yeah, obviously, you know, these aren't a replacement because especially with updates for the emulator, they can break. But they will take me back to where I left off. Anyway, you can save anywhere, even on a loading screen or setting screen. You can pause, stop, you know, restart. And apart from that, you know, have a look at these settings. But really, there's nothing else more to it. So it's all set up. The bottom screen is not appearing because in the real game on the real 3DS, the bottom screen wouldn't appear in this part for the game so as you can see it's looking a bit blurry actually you know what i'll do i'll go to single screen and i'll show you if i go to preferences what the internal resolution change will produce if i do let's say to uh let's say let's say if i do 3x and i click okay and as you can see the game is now a lot smoother if i go to preferences some you know sort of fixed images they won't change and some you know fonts and menus but if i go to native if you look at the arrow as you can see it's a lot blurrier and again i can try and increase it as much as i want and i'll i would just increase it to the point where you know 
you're not really getting good performance anymore, but that is looking really good. But the performance has now dropped. So that's it. That's how you set up the Azaha emulator on your Mac to play 3DS games. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be informed when there's new videos. I'll see you in the next emulation video. Take care. Bye.